Okay guys, welcome back to another video. In today's episode, we're going to be doing the top 10 Minecraft mods you probably have never heard of. Let's jump right in. Okay, for the first mod we had on this list, it is the Edible Bugs mod. It is literally what the name says. You can get bugs by mining grass or sand or different things for their bug respectively. And you can then get a bug that you can cook in a furnace and eat things like the fryer which is what are you use to cook them you have vegetable oil which you need to cook with some of the bugs you also will find things like this which are termite mounds now you also get the thing called the bug zapper if you were to put dirt in this so get some dirt throw it inside the zapper and then you would get some termite larvae, which you get from the mounds. And it will slowly transform into grown larvae that you can then cook and eat. This mod has many bugs that you can now cook and eat. Pretty much any bug from the spectrum. The only thing I wish it had was bugs that actually run around that you could then unalive and pick up and eat instead of having to mine all of them just adding more realism into the mod but this is a fairly small mod and a mod i think you would really love to have in your world the next mod we have on this list is the sword display mod which literally just adds in displays they come in every wood type and every mineral type such as iron gold diamond and emerald you can then use these to store them just like so. They also come in a glass variant if you want something more fancy for your most special enchanted swords to put in a museum. And all together, this is a very nice decorational mod that also comes with a bit of storage for swords that you have close to your heart or just want to have shown off. You can put these like in the sword in the stone and have something like an Excalibur or do what I originally said and put them in a museum, all shiny and enchanted, looking very nice. The next mod we have on this list is the Botania's Pots mod. With this, you can literally place pots in any single of the clay variants, which you can then right click with a piece of dirt and put actual trees, saplings, and any kind of plant or farm inside of them. They will eventually grow, letting you harvest them as well, putting a chest under them, and then you can harvest them and they are also a really cool decorational item. You can use these in anywhere from places of scenery or places for just quick farming. They're really amazing and you should use them. Check them out down below. The next mod we have on this list is the Easy Villager Trading Mod. So what this, e this mod does is it adds in different tiers of traders, breeders, and things along those lines that you can actually put mini villagers inside of and then depending on whatever kind of table you put in there is the trader it will be. These guys are safe from zombies and you can store them in one block which makes them very easy to use and it's also very unique. You can also make things like an iron farm which if you put a villager inside will start producing iron. A thing like a farmer which if you put someone inside and then give them a certain plant type, such as carrot, they will start putting out that item. You can put a breeder, which will breed villagers for you, and a converter, which will turn them into zombie villagers. Whoops. So, this is the easy villager mod for aesthetical purpose, ease of access, and all around amazingness. You should download this mod. The next mod on this list that you probably never heard of is actually a pretty big mod and consists of what items it adds. That's the Builders and Crafts Additions mod and it adds things like sideways slabs. It adds cool pillars which actually, actually connect. Tables which will connect as well making them as big as you want. Cool oak stools counters with different tops and wood types which can actually be used to store stuff in 
sofas which will also connect benches which you can use as part benches which will also connect cupboards which store a double chest worth of items and I'm only showing some of the stuff from the mod not everything candles and soul candles a cross path for railroads mid speakers arcade machine we'll come back to that large soul candle a shop sign which you can actually put stuff on normal candles a barrel planter which you can actually plant on and a gravel path which is just a path of one block down and as you can see you can also play a game so all around the additions mod is a really great mod and you should download it below for all the decorating options and possibilities not only just decorating options and possibilities but almost everything in the mod has a use The next mod on this list that you probably haven't heard of is a fairly small mod, but I think it's really cool in its possibility, and that is smaller nether portal creation. It may be small for the mod and what it does, but personally, I think it's really cool because you could do something like this. which you really couldn't do before, and then you could do this and make like a Narnia closet which is like oh what's behind this closet oh my god a portal to the nether which is just a really cool idea and something I think you guys should consider and check out the next mod that we have on this list that you probably never have heard of is a really cool decoration mod and I personally will be using it forever from now on it is actually the Colorful Decorational Lanterns mod, or the Colored Lanterns, which literally does what it says in its name. It adds soul normal lanterns and the flickering soul lanterns, which will just be colored. You can have them in different kinds. The only tip or thing that I would add to this is maybe make a variant of each lantern that gives off the color hue of its corresponding lantern. So a blue lantern would give off blue light. That would be really cool for like a mystical feel, feel just walking through something like Alice in the Wonderland with pink lights glowing all over the trees. But other than that, this is a really great mod, 10 out of 10, and I would definitely be using again. The next mod on this list that you probably haven't ever heard of is the Magic Mirror mod. Quick note, I tried to make this look like a bathroom scene, but I realize now it kind of looks like a kitchen. Anyways, the Magic Mirror mod does its exact purpose and what it says in its name. It adds a mirror that actually works to Minecraft. So if you put two of these blocks together, it will actually show your character, its skin, the way it moves. And possibly the coolest thing about this mirror is it doesn't add much lag and it will mimic what you have. So anything that I have in my inventory here or in my hands, it will mimic. And anything that I'm wearing, such as armor, will also be shown in the mirror. It is a really cool mod and it's something you should check out. It would be amazing for any builds or horror map sequences. The next mod on this list that you probably have never heard of is the Dungeons mod. And this mod is fairly small and fairly new, so in its beta infancy, but it already has added tons of new mods, mobs, and bosses to the game. So let's look at a bunch of them. An Anthrite, whoa, fast, Mimic, annoying piranha oh sorry little guy rogue which will steal your inventory and take the things out of your pocket if you're not careful 
Slimond, Haunter, Ghost Pup, Lord Skeleton, which is a boss, Crow. You can tell that it's pretty early rendition because the crow doesn't fly and everything is really fast. It also doesn't have an attack animation. But I'm sure the creator is going to do a lot more and it says it is heavily whip. Iron Slime, which is also a boss. King A, which is also a boss. Note Head, which is terrifying crawler boss also terrifying looks kind of like the naga from twilight forest kraken wow that's epic i think it needs a whole remodel and texture but that is epic that he's doing the kraken scientist void monster epic guard slime wolf and last but not least, the two final, which is Deserted and the Sun. You can literally fight the sun in this mod. That's insane. The last mod on this list that you probably have never heard of is the Joy of Painting mod. Have you ever been sitting in Minecraft saying to yourself, wow, the paintings in this game could be better? Or... I could do better on those. Or maybe, I want to be Bob Ross. Well, now you can. All you have to do is download the Join of Painting mod, and then you get a couple canvases and a palette, and what you do is put the palette in your offhand with the canvas in your main, and right click. Now, you can grab your certain colors, and you can paint with them by pixel. So, let's say I would like to see the planet from a 2D angle, like Terraria. As you can see, you have some dirt. Get a thick layer of grass. And we're gonna take right there. And as you can see, we now have a tree. Boom, look at that. We have the sun right up there. With a couple of rays. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a little not amazing, but we're going to keep it going. There you go. Then right down here, we have a Steve. With inverted colors, apparently. Boom. As you can see, I'm Bob Ross. Bob Roos. And this is by Bob Roos. Now, you can right click to see you created it or get an item frame. Put it in the item frame to show it off. But possibly the coolest thing about it, you can actually put your artwork on top of your shield. Just like a normal Minecraft with a banner. I don't know how to do it because I'm bad at the game. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.